We're here with Sean. Um, he's basically running the wargaming here at Upcon. Uh, do you want to tell us a bit what, what is wargaming? Okay, wargaming is basically it's a tabletop board game, but you have to collect, paint, and use your own figurines that you buy over time and paint up by yourself. Um, it involves a lot of dice throwing, but it's it's a great fun to do. Um, uh, basically, the sets you buy that you've got to paint and stuff like that, those are your men. And so if the people are used to the Starcraft or whatever, the, instead of your fig figures and, and people that actually do the things are the ones that you bring with you. Yes, you would bring all your own models. Um, if you're looking at something like Starcraft, um, your little one unit would represent a model on the board, um, basically. Um, you get such a huge variety of models. Um, obviously, it's different types from your small models to... you get massive tanks and stuff. Yeah, yeah I've s I saw some guys also had some lovely planes going and uh, but those look slightly more futuristic. You yes. seem to have like two versions going. There's like we've, a more... We've got three current war games that are pretty big this side. We've got the War Machine which um, they played yesterday but they're not playing today. That was a small tournament. We've got the Warhammer Fantasy. That's your elves and your knights and okay. people on horseback. They also playing at the moment. Um, then you have your Warhammer 40,000. That's your futuristic one. We've got space marines and we've got those flying ships and we've got aliens, all sorts of fun stuff to cool. play. And it, it looks quite, so you set up your board uh, with all your pieces and you've got an army on that side and an army on this side? More or less. Well, it what's depends on? on the game. It depends okay. on the game. Um, the basic, the most standard game is the uh, army squaring off against an, another army. Um, and then we issue them with objectives. Um, a special mission goal for them to acquire and that's what they work towards the whole game okay cool um, the first mission we played was the it was to wipe out as much of your opponent's army as possible but normally what happens is we have points that you gotta send um, certain units in your army to hold those points and um, capture those points so you've got to decide how many people you're gonna send and okay that's one of the it's turn based as well it so you, you roll your dice to get your your the luck into it of, yes. of how you know what can move where and how far it can yeah. move and what well all units basically they have a standard movement but there are things that affect your standard movement and so on all right so then you do that you roll your dice and, and your two armies effectively and, and you then have your battles and try secure so you need to send enough men and all the rest of it yes it actually looks quite a lot of fun it is a it's a hell of a lot of fun i'm actually sad that i'm not playing today because i'm organizing <laughs> it's it's kind of boring sitting watching people play instead of playing myself um, I'd rather be playing personally right. um, you, and we if somebody was wanting to get involved in this where would they have to go um, if they want to get involved the best place to start would be a shop selling the stuff there's various shops there's the extreme wall gaming up here in Pretoria there's outer limits in Melville um, there's the underground um, there's lots of shops they can search on the internet for um, such places where to find to buy this stuff. The obviously the first thing to do is to buy models and stuff. But the best place to really go learn about the game is to find a club or an event like this and watch a few games and see if you're actually more interested because it's, it does require an investment of money obviously cool. to get started. And do you know any clubs in Pretoria or Johannesburg? In Pretoria, there is the um, there's the War Banner. They're in Centurion. In Johannesburg, the main club I recommend is Warzone. I played it myself. Okay. Um, they're the main club, um, and it's a great place to get started. Cool. Um, and where can people find information on those clubs? Um, the best place to find information on all, all things South African Warhammer is to go www.warhammergenerals.co.za. There's everything you need to know. That's the, the South African forum. Um, there we announce tournaments. We discuss, we organize games ahead of time if we want to organize games ahead of time. They'll also list the clubs, and some shops are listed there as well. Awesome. Right. You can find out everything from there. Cool. Uh, anything else you wanted to add? Not particularly. All right. Cool. Thank okay. you very much for chatting to us. Thank you very much.